Today we will be showing you how to test multiple ignition coils with one hookup. This is a very effective way to diagnose coil and plug systems, especially Fords. Since most coil and plug ignition systems have the coils sharing the same power feed, as each coil is energized, approximately 8 to 14 amps, we should be able to see the B plus drop slightly. When the coils fire, we should also be able to see the inductive kick Although we will not be on the negative side and cannot see the KV voltage or burn time like we used to do in the old ignition analyzer days, we can compare the coils to make sure that the spikes are fairly even. We have seen many Ford Jaguar coil and plug systems with secondary voltages bleeding back into the primary. This has a tendency to create some or all of the below symptoms. Cuts out like the key was turned off, bucks jerks, dash lights flicker and possibly gauges flickering when the engine is bucking or just before the stall. The procedure is as such. Connect your red lead to any coil positive. Connect your ground to good battery chassis ground. Adjust your scope voltage to plus or minus 20 volts full screen and a time base of approximately 100 milliseconds full screen. This should give you a good starting point. Start the vehicle and look at your scope patterns. Typically, an open or high resistance secondary will cause the firing spikes to go higher. Whereas when you have secondary voltage bleeding over to the primary, the firing spikes seem to trend downward. Here's an example I worked on. It is a 2003 Ford Expedition that was bucking and stalling under a load, got pronouncedly worse when hot. As you can see, the coil has a very long negative firing spike. After that, the PCM reset, and while it was gaining its composure, there were no ignition pulses. And then it started firing again. Thank you for watching Technician's Toolbox. Stop back next week for the next video.